my leather rock here. Well, when I'm filming this, it happens to be the 4th of July and it happens to be at night time. I have an adventure to talk to you about, and this is a story time about something that happened to me in the Atlantic City bus terminal last night. So, I went quite late at night to the Atlantic City bus terminal because, well, I like to go to the marina, you know, casino sometimes, and I found out that instead of spending money for the jitney, which is between either two dollars and two twenty or two twenty-five, depending on whether you get uh, like a strip of the frequent rider tickets or if you just pay cash fare. But if you take the New Jersey Transit bus, the fare is only a dollar sixty. So I thought, ah, oh, I can take twenty dollars and I could get even more fares, and just you save the round the uh, one way to, uh, tickets and you get them the one time, right? And then just save them for when you want to go clubbing, and then the only thing is you have to go to the bus terminal. So, okay, great. Couldn't wait to do this, you know. And so I go to the bus terminal, and I, because I had a lot of things to do uh, prior to that, I didn't get there till around midnight. And uh, no, no, it doesn't sweat me any. It's open 24 hours a day, you know. And so, oh, and let me set this up. I was wearing uh, a Hawaiian shirt and a mini skirt not no stud belt you know the usual makeup and everything but absolutely no jewelry because i didn't want to look like i had money because uh it's not a sketchy neighborhood but it's still a bus terminal and sometimes there are troublemakers there so i'm waiting for a teller to open up because everything says they're closed right and i did the most stupid boneheaded thing i see i had in my purse i had my calendar I had my current journal, I had one of my YouTube uh, notebooks that I keep track of, show prep notes, all kinds of things. And I don't know why I had all that stuff. I, I think it was because I wanted to ascertain how many tickets I was going to get, even though I was just going to get as many as I could get for 20 bucks, right? So while I was there, I'm thinking because I have so much stuff in my purse, you know when you finally get to a tower, you're wasting time because you're digging through because you got all this stuff. I'm thinking, let me get my money out ahead of time. But I didn't want to flash people the money because then I'd be an easy mark, right? So I had earlier gotten to uh, where all the bus schedules were, and I got a couple of copies of the bus schedule that I would need. Uh, so I thought that I would be clever by sandwiching this $20 bill in between two New Jersey Transit bus schedules. Okay, see where we're going with this. So, uh, and there was a brief amount of time where I was under the impression that the teller would never open until like six o'clock in the morning and that would really piss me off because it would mean that I basically would have wasted my trip and the whole reason why I went when I did was because I didn't want to wait until close to the time that I was going to need my first ride because then I would waste time waiting for a ticket and you would have to have a ticket and because the buses don't even load on the street the buses load in the terminal so I wanted to save time by doing this so somehow while I'm standing here with the money sandwiched in between the uh, uh, schedules, this young, white, I don't want to say clean cut, but I don't want to say hippie either, because I didn't really, there was nothing about him that was noticeable. He was begging uh, for he needed money to get home. That, that is st stereotypical story, right? And I said, no, I'm, I'm waiting on my own transportation issues. And then he went on to Spain to other people, and I didn't think anything of it. And uh, then the weirdest thing happened about a half hour later the same guy he came up to me to within oh seven feet of me and he got down on his knees let me show you he actually like genuflected okay like this and and he had a plastic bag like you would get when you went to a corner store and you would have like chips and beer or whatever the hell right and he set that down between him and me, and I didn't think anything of it. Then, all of a sudden, he got up and he left. And I don't know why the bells and whistles didn't go off in my head, because about five minutes later, because there was a bit of a delayed reaction, and I started thinking, you know, the guy was acting like he was trying to look up my skirt. And the thing is, I'm not, I hope you're not offended by this, but it's not my first day at the rodeo, and I'm no stranger to idiots trying to look up my skirt. And if you think that there's something new under the sun, I got another thing to tell you. So I didn't jump away as maybe a more prim and proper young lady would do. Uh, so I was kind of amused by it, right? 
But when all of a sudden I looked at my my schedules and I saw twenty dollar bill it was gone. It was in my purse. It wasn't anywhere. And, and I don't understand. Uh, hold on a second, mom. What?